Hey, here's an updated video to my first one on how to convert the uh, Audible files, your AA files, to MP3. Um, that video might have just been a wee bit uh, outdated, only in the fact that you got to do a couple of different things with Audible inside your Audible account in order to get it to work. Um, but it still works. Um, but if you've never done this before and it's your first time, um, I'm going to walk you directly through how to copy or convert an AA file, which is an Audible book file, to a regular MP3 file so you can listen to it on any device you want to. Alright, well, you need the three pieces of software in order for all of this to happen. And you may already have these downloaded or not. Um, the first thing that you're going to need is the actual converter software. It's called Audios, um, also known as Audios TuneBite. Uh, if you go to removedrmfast.com, uh, you can download Audios here. Uh, one of the biggest complaints that I got from my last video was that it was only copying like the first two minutes or part of the book. Um, that's because this is just a trial copy. This this software um, that that does all this is it's not free, nor is it very expensive, and it, and, and I think it's about twenty five bucks, um, but it pays for itself very quickly. Um, anyways, you can go to uh, removedrmfast.com, download this copy here, and then make sure this works on your computer first. Um, and this will only work on a Windows computer. Uh, but download it and install it. Once you have the audios downloaded, um, open up your audios. Uh, your display may look this way or it may look like this. Either way, um, you want to uh, click the universal uh, converter, ever how it may look. And then you want to click this audiobooks button. The first time you do this, you're going to get a uh, box that pops up that says download the necessary plugin. Go ahead and download that plugin. Once you have that plugin installed, close out audios, reopen it, and then when you click it, you should get this, which is the instructions you need um, in order to to convert the AA file over to a uh, into an MP3. All right. Once you have this installed and set up, uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to go. You have to go and install iTunes. Uh, so you can go to Apple.com and go ahead and install download and install iTunes first. Now the third thing you're going to have to install in order for this to work is that with inside of your Audible's account. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here and you're going to click software and when you open up the software page you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom uh, where it says iTunes um, and then you're going to click learn more and as I said before uh, the converter software only works on Windows um, so obviously we're going to click the Windows, download the Windows um, software. Now what we have to do here is you have to select one of these, select burn CDs. We're not going to be burning any actual CDs but we need to click and then download the Audible uh, download manager is what's going to happen here. So click that, download the Audible download manager. Um, it tells you here you have to have iTunes installed first, so make sure you do the iTunes first, um, and then click the here download and then install this. Once you have all that installed, you're you're really ready to go. So then you can go back to your library, and then once you have that installed, you want to start downloading these books um, that you have in your library. Now, if you've already burned these to CDs, this will not work because Audible only lets you burn these to CDs. We're going to burn this to a virtual CD, but not any actual CDs. So follow me and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to download this and then this is going to trigger the download manager um, to come up um, and then start downloading this book. And this is downloading to my hard drive. Okay, this window here may pop up. That's fine. Go ahead and close it out. We don't need it. We need to work inside of iTunes. A lot of times the book will not automatically populate in iTunes, so we just need to put it there. So you can pull up your iTunes and then your download manager here and click find. And it's going to go to the folder that contains the book you just downloaded and simply just drag and drop it into your iTunes. And then we can close this out. We can close this out. All right. In order for this to work, and you have to actually burn this from a playlist. 
so we're going to go here new playlist we're going to call our playlist um, ledge lean I believe is the name of the book call it whatever you want and once we have that we go back here find our book that we just downloaded and whatever book you're going to convert take it drag and drop it into your new playlist and now once it's in the playlist we can right click on playlist and we just click burn playlist to disk you're going to get a dialog box that comes up if you've not done this before you may have to change this setting here so make sure it says audios tune byte cdr if you installed the plugin correctly this should come up um, when you installed your um, audios so and then the next thing you gotta make sure is checked is include CD text as long as it this dialog box looks just like this one you're ready to go simply click burn and everything else will be taken care of by audios tune byte Okay, as we can see here, it's now complete. Um, everything has been tagged, uh, converted, and it's MP3. Um, all you got to do now is find it on your computer. Right click, open media folder, and it'll show you exactly where it is on your computer. And you can see here now that once I get this expanded here, we're going to see that it automatically puts it in chapters as different tracks, and it's in the MP3 format. Um, so go ahead and download this, give this a try, make sure it works on your computer first, if it's worth it for you, get the software, but this is the only reliable, best quality way of converting your AA files uh, to MP3. If you have any questions, you're, are you unable to get this to work, uh, simply leave a message, um, send me a message or, or leave a comment on this video, and I'll be more than happy to get back to you and uh, give you some advice on, on, on how to get this happening. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care and check out some other videos. Thanks.